Well, today's the day. Last day of work. Uh, the reason that I'm making this video is because for all of you who are going to be going full-time RVing at some point, this day is going to come and I wanted to bring you along so that I could share with you, um, I don't know, the emotion attached to it or, you know, what it, what it feels like to be on your last day of work. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of the, of the backstory about it. Um, I retired from the Army two years ago. Uh, as a combat medic, did 20 years in the Army, retired, and um, took another job afterwards. Um, and it was just that, it was a job. And that was um, just for uh, like a month or so as I was trying to find my second career. And, um, and then I found this career that I'm currently in. And when I interviewed for that, that job, um, it was my full intention to stay, you know, forever and ever. Um, but, uh, you know, because that's what people do. You work for 40 years and you retire at 65 and then you go live your next couple of years and then you die and that's it. Um, so I got, um, I got only a couple of months into, into the current career that I'm in now and realized that that's not, um, not what I wanted um, and not really what I could handle, um, you know. I briefly talked about you know medical issues and concerns that I've had and I'm not going to go into detail of what those are but um, you can probably imagine uh, you know being a combat veteran um, <laughs> going into like a, a corporate civilian uh, career is probably not the best idea it's a it's a good good paycheck and I've enjoyed um, some of the people that I've worked with but um, not worth the money. Uh, it, you know, we, we're we're thankful for this career because we've been able to pay pay off everything, and um, we've been able to 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 get prepared for uh, the next chapter in life, which is uh, full time RVing. But um, man, the stress of it all. And I think that even if we were not doing the full time RV thing, um, we'd still be in the same position. I would still be. Uh, well, I probably wouldn't have even stayed as long as I have. Uh, the reason that I've stayed for two years is because, you know, we, we can't go out on the road yet. We were waiting for Lauren to graduate high school, which she graduates in May, and then um, goes to college in August. And uh, I really just hung on for that. I was probably, um, I don't even know if it was a couple of months, but I'm going to say a couple of months. It was a couple of months into this career when I realized that, look, this is not... Um, this is not it. And I don't know if anything is is it. Um, just um, not real sure. You know, if a, a traditional career is right for me, I was okay in the military because I was around a bunch of people that I trusted and knew. And um, you know, not not that I don't trust the people that I work with now, um, but it's just different. Uh, it's not military um you know it's um it's corporate and it's cutthroat and it's all about m the money and that's not really what i'm about and then um you know being a combat veteran and prior military you know the this thing doesn't have a great filter uh so i tried to keep that in check i did the best that i could for the couple of years and i think that um you know when, when we when when leslie first brought up this um this idea to go full-time RV living and we decided that that was what we were gonna do um, everything shifted toward planning for that and we put an end date on everything and we put an end date uh, on my work uh, for, for the first of June and that's not the first of June it's the first of March um, but this is where we felt like um, uh, we needed to, to pull the trigger a little early because a uh, there's a lot more to get ready than what we than what we thought originally, and as we get closer to it, there's just a ton of stuff to prepare for. And B, uh, it was getting to a point where I was like um, not doing well, 
uh, in the civilian <laughs> workforce and uh, we didn't want anything bad to happen. I didn't want to get fired. <laughs> I didn't want to cuss anybody out or get an altercation or anything like that. And I think that, you know, something like that was in the near future. So it was in my best interest to, uh, to call it quits. Now I did give them a 90 day notice and there's a couple reasons that I did that. I gave them a 90 day notice because A, it traps me for another 90 days and forces me to, to get through to at least this point. Um, and B, it gives them the opportunity to get the right person in the job to, uh, to take over for me. And I have uh, just over 100 employees and I care about my employees and I wanted to make sure that they didn't feel abandoned and I wanted to set that next person up for success. So I wanted there to be an overlap and there was it was great we had three week overlap um you know the first couple weeks we went through everything that, that that i did made sure that he was comfortable in the new position and in this last week i've just kind of been in the hospital and available for him if he had any questions and he's now um, in charge and i'm not making any decisions and so that three week transition i mean hardly anybody ever gets that so i think that's awesome it worked out great i feel good about you know my employees not feeling abandoned um, and then you know I'm gonna have some, uh, some co-workers that I'm gonna miss but um, I'm in the truck now I'm headed to work I just want to share you with you the emotions of the day and so I'm gonna head to work I'm gonna knock out my last day of work and I'll talk to you again um, after it's over well that's it uh, I just pulled in home after my last day of work and uh, I really don't know how I feel yet. Uh, I don't think it's hit me yet. I don't think it'll probably will hit me until next week when uh, you know I don't have to wake up to go to work. <laughs> it feels good. Um, I mean, the the responsibility burden I definitely feel lifted. Um, man, it's weird. Um, you know, I uh, I don't know. It's uh, hard to put into words. Uh, it's kind of like if you were to catch a wild animal <laughs> and like and like hold on to it for a while and then you decide, oh man, I'm going to turn it loose. And then you go out and you take it in the woods and then you, you open the thing and it's like, it don't, it don't go away. It just kind of sits there. That's kind of like what I feel like right now. I feel like I just got it. The, the gate just opened and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I've been trapped for so long that I don't even know what to do. I'm not trapped anymore. Um, so <laughs> that's the best way I can explain it. Um, did have some, you know, um, you know, final moments with uh, coworkers today, and got to say goodbye to all the people that I really enjoyed working with, and, and things like that. Um, definitely gonna miss some of the people. I'm not gonna miss the stress at all because um, it was just so much and hard to to deal with and. It's hard to explain how it's hard to deal with um, unless you have been in circumstances like uh, like myself and other veterans because, I mean, we really got, before I was in the army or before I went to combat, it was, um, there were there were so many different levels of, of stress and so many different levels of escalation of stress and now there's just... There's just not. It's like no stress or fight or flight. So when you're stressed, you, you, your brain won't even allow you to go up a little bit. It goes up to extreme, like extreme stress, blood pressure high. It just feels like you're going to fight again every single time. And it's so exhausting. Um, I wish I could explain that feeling to some people. But um, when you do that, for even just the couple of years that I've done that since I've been out of the army, it's just so exhausting, and um, that's one of the reasons that we decided to to do this and make this leap and 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 go on this adventure, this lifestyle of RV living. And um, I just think I'll still have those moments. You're always going to have some kind of stress in your life, and and, and I'm still going to have that. It's never going to be tiered again. It's going to go from no stress to to, to full on fight or flight and um but the fewer times that happens the better um and with work it was happening i mean 
if not every day, almost every day. Um, there were some days where it was like, great, no problem. But any kind of stress, just boom, just triggers it. And then the longer you stay in that stressful situation, the longer it takes you to de-escalate. And sometimes you're not even de-escalated from the day before, before you got to get back in it and you hit another stressful situation. And sometimes it would be, you know, weeks um, at a time, just constant. I don't know how to explain it. Um, that's the best I can do to explain it to you. Um, but I'm definitely happy. Um, the countdown timer on my phone hit four zeros, flatlined, and I'm out. Uh, so that's cool. Um, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is taking the app off of my phone for my work email because, you know, in the line of work that I was in, I worked all the time. And just to give you guys an idea of what I did, uh, for a living after the army. Um, I was the director of clinical operations for a major medical center in the city uh, that we live closest to. And um, I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but basically managed uh, patient movement throughout the hospital and a lot of the staffing things. So on a daily basis, uh, you're talking about hundreds of, hundreds of patients moving every day and uh, hundreds of staff members who have to be placed in the right places so that you have enough people to take care of the sick people that you need to take care of. And um, you know, high tempo, high stress, uh, not ideal for a person <laughs> in my situation. Um, so I'm glad to be out of it. I enjoyed, uh, enjoyed um, some of the people, but I'm definitely glad to be out of the situation. So, um, you know, one minute you find yourself working and then the next retired, ha, <laughs> again. So after, uh, after two years in this career, after the army, uh, retired again. Let's, uh, let's honor a hero. If you are a current service member, or a veteran who has served. Thank you for your service and for your sacrifice. Uh, if it was not for your service, we would not have the freedom to do what we do on a daily basis. So we appreciate you. If you know a vet or if you see a vet, thank a vet. And we appreciate you guys watching our videos. Thanks for watching this one and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.